I'm aware that there are people out there who naturally just keep their space tidy. And if you're one of them, I mean, I don't know why you clicked on this, but I wasn't. Now my room looks like that 90% of the time. And I achieved it mostly through just changing my habits and maybe changing my space. And today I'm gonna tell you how. Hey, it's Natalie, and just to give you a little bit of background, I always used to be the messy one. I always had a messy room, clothes right, lying all around the floor and the chair. Um, anyway, that changed when I went to the boarding school. Now, as I showed you, uh, my room is pretty clean at most of the time. And I do it due to the practical reasons. And if you're a messy person and it doesn't bother you, here's some reasons why you might consider changing your habits. So firstly, even if you don't have a problem with that, your family or your roommates might, and I would say there's a pretty high chance for it. Secondly, if you think that you operate amazingly in the mess, well, that might be true, but trust me, it's much easier to find your stuff when you actually clear regularly. So you stop losing lipsticks, keys, and stuff like that, just because you know where your stuff is. Then I would say that you always have a pretty clean room, so you never have to spend a lot of time cleaning. And fourthly, you can have guests anytime because you don't have to spend a lot of time preparing for that. And the fifth reason is that you can't really procrastinate by cleaning for a long time because you don't have that much to clean. <laughs> I would say that becoming a tidy person can be achieved through improving into areas. Firstly, your habits and secondly, uh, optimizing your space. And I will first go through the habits because I personally think they're the most key here. And I'll tell you what kind of things I do in terms of my habits just because, well, yeah, I do them. So every day, I think, when you wake up, it's great when you make your bed. And this is something that everybody talks about, so I guess you already heard it multiple times. Uh, another thing is that in the evening, before you go to sleep, I would suggest you spend like two minutes cleaning your desk, just putting things in place. So in the morning you wake up and your room is already pretty de decent. Then every evening, if you have a problem with that, really try and put your clothes in place, at least have some designated space for them. Uh, if you want to wear them again, if not, just put them in the laundry basket. And now every week, and I think this is really the most important part, I have a day where I just clean my room. So I spend like one to two hours cleaning my room. And I mean, not only my room, but just cleaning. So I do stuff like changing my sheets, wiping the dust, uh, just vacuuming the floor. I also have to clean uh, the bathroom. So yeah, that's just one of my chores. And I do those things then. If you're curious about what I do, here's my checklist. I, I literally made a checklist because the checklist is kind of a way to go. Because this way you really control what you do exactly, when, and it, it feels like you know what you have to do and it makes it way more effective and more satisfying because you can tick those things off and yeah, it just makes cleaning more fun. And then every month, I would say I just clean my wardrobe and clean my cosmetics. So I put everything out and then, you know, I clean everything and uh, put the stuff in in the orderly way. Uh, but this is just an addition if I feel like I need to do it. And then every kind of six months, I try to do the deep cleaning. So I take every wardrobe, every shelf I have, and I put everything out and I decide what I keep and what I donate, what I throw away, uh, stuff like that. So I just don't have the things that I don't need anymore. And this is interesting because I think that Two years ago, when I was really messy, uh, I just operated the other way around. So I basically allowed my room to become really dirty. Like I would, I mean, I would clean from time to time, like vacuum the floor and stuff like that. I just lost the track of where my things were. And basically, uh, 
every two months or something like that I had to spend the whole day cleaning just deciding what I keep and what I don't and I just remember cleaning always took me a long time and now it doesn't take me as much time especially when I just you know clean for an hour then while listening to a podcast and it's actually pretty nice so if you're doing all those things you're probably very tidy already but I would say there are also a few things that you can improve in your space to make it easier for you so firstly, I would suggest you have a shelf or a basket, something like that, where you keep the things that you don't know what to do with for the moment. And in my case, this is especially with clothes. Sometimes I wear a sweater once and I don't really want to put it in the wardrobe because I might wear it soon, but it's, and it's also not dirty and I just don't want to uh, occupy my thoughts with it for the moment. So I just put it, put it in my shelf and yeah so if you have a space like this it can really make it easier for you because then you clean everything at once but also you don't make uh, your for example bed or chair dirty then i think it's a good idea to have a nice set of pillows or like uh, blankets i don't know whatever you want on your bed so you actually feel more motivated to make your bed every day and then you're more motivated to like keep it this way. I noticed that since I redecorated my room and changed my bed, I felt much more motivated to actually uh, keep it that way because, you know, it's so nice, you don't want to ruin it. Um. And lastly, uh, another reason for which it might be difficult for you to stay just tidy is that you might not have enough storage. I had this problem with my books, so I have many books in my room and before they were just lying around like stacked in many places and it didn't look very well and it also took a lot of storage and since I got this bookshelf it actually started to look much better and I got more space and the more space you kind of have the more difficult it is to make it look uh, dirty or messy you I think you get the point so to achieve that you might either invest in some new storage or you might simply uh, throw away donate or do something with the things you don't need so guys that's basically it uh, I hope you liked the video it's kind of weird when I think about it because I basically talk about how to keep your how to clean how to clean regularly which is a weird topic but maybe it helps some of you because myself i didn't realize i had a problem and that life was a bit easier if you managed to keep your space clean so yeah if you like this video uh like it you can subscribe to my channel if you didn't uh, tell me why <laughs> and yeah see you in my other videos